In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an awesome volunteer application form that you can get set up in under 10 minutes. We are going to use the amazing WP Forms plugin to help build the form we want quickly with no coding knowledge needed. Before we can get started, make sure you head to the WP Forms website and sign up for a plan to have access to the template we're about to use. Let's jump right in. Once you have downloaded WP Forms from the website, you'll need to install it and activate it. To do that, head to Plugins, then click Add New. As we have a file on our computer, we need to upload it to the site. The quickest way to do that is to go to the Upload Plugin button up here. Click that and you'll get the option to choose a file from your computer. When you have done that, click Install, wait for the file to finish installing, and we then get an option to activate it. After the plugin is activated, we then need to head to the Settings section of WP Forms menu and copy and paste our license key into the box here. With the license verified, we are now ready to create our volunteer application form. It is super quick to make a form from here. All we need to do is click Add New in the WP Forms menu area. We are now in the setup area for our form, as indicated here on the left hand side. And the first thing to do is to give our form a name to help us identify it. You are now presented with a library of form templates to choose from. These templates have been specifically designed to make building the form you want easy. If we go to the search bar on the left and search for volunteer, we will now see the template we want to use right here. By hovering over any of the templates, we get two options. One to view the demo and the other to use that template. Click use template and the form will now be created in a matter of seconds. Looking at this form, it's pretty awesome, but there may be a few things you want to change or add in. If you hover over any part of the form, you will see it's broken up into sections, and these sections are called fields. Each field has its own purpose and range of settings. In the top right of the field, you'll see the option to duplicate, which is really handy if you have fields you need to repeat, but just change a couple of options. And also there is a button to delete this field from the form. Whilst hovering, we also get a tip on what we can do with this field. We can either click to edit or drag to reorder. If we click and hold, we can drag these fields into any order we want. So that's super helpful if you want to organize everything in a specific way. If we click on the field, the field editor pops open on the left of the screen. Each field will have different options depending on its type. We can see that the field I've clicked here is a multiple choice field. It has a question, which is what we have in the label area, and then multiple choice answers below in the choices section. If you want to change any of the choices, we can edit their labels here. We can reorder them by clicking and dragging. We can add more choices by clicking the plus button on any of these items. If you want to delete a choice, then all you have to do is click the minus button right here. We can also add a description to the field, which can be useful if you want to give a little bit more information to the applicant about this section. At the bottom of the editor, we can mark whether this field is required and that means this section has to be completed before the applicant can submit the form. If we scroll down to the applicant details section on the form, we can see the name, email and phone fields already have the required setting toggled as we can see the red asterisk next to the labels. If we scroll back to our multiple choice field, one thing that is really cool is if we click on the advanced tab here, there is an option to configure the layout of this field. It's currently set to one column, but if you have a lot of choices, then this can make your form look really long and potentially put applicants off, which isn't great. So by clicking on the drop down, we now have the option to put the choices in two or three columns, which can make the form easier to complete. That's how we can edit a field, but what about adding fields? To do that, all we need to do is click on add fields at the top of the field editor. We can now see all the fields we can add to this form. To add a field, it is as simple as dragging and dropping them in place. Let's say we're offering companies free partnership or advertising on our organization's website if their staff sign up as volunteers. We can drag a single line text and website field into the applicant's details section. Then change the single line text label to read company and the website label to read company website. You can now add or edit as many fields as you need. And once you've done that, Hit the save button at the top right to save all your changes. Click preview to see how it looks. If you want to change the submit button text, then click on settings on the far left of the screen. And you can change that to whatever you want. 
Currently, when an applicant submits a form, you'll get an email containing the information they've sent. This is the default notification setting for all forms. You can also set things up so the applicant also receives an email to let them know you have received their application. To do that, we just need to make sure we're under the settings section of the form editor. Click on the notification subheading here, and we now see the default notification that gets sent out. If we duplicate that by clicking on this button on the right, we can quickly change a few settings and create the applicant email notification. First up, let's change the send email address as it's currently pointed to our admin email. If we click this smart tags button here, it shows us the options available and we want the option for email. If you ever want to double check the field to use here, then go back to the field section and just click on the field you want. You can then see the tag ID next to the field name. Next, we can change the email subject line. As we want the applicant to be able to reply to this notification, we will switch the reply email address to the admin email. Now we can change the notification message and then hit save to save those changes. If we head to the confirmation subheading, that gives us the option to change the on-site message that the applicant sees after they submit the form. If we click the drop down under the confirmation type, we also get the options to redirect them to another page on our site or a different site if we want to. After that, you are ready to add the form to your website. Adding a form to your site is really easy with WP Forms. All you need to do is head to the page you want to add the form to. If you don't already have a page created, you'll need to get that set up. Navigate to the part of the page you want to add the form to, and if you're using the Gutenberg editor, like me, click on the plus icon in the top left of the screen. This opens the block inserter. Just type WP in the search bar, and the WP Forms block will appear. Drag and drop that icon into the place you want your form. You now get the option to choose the form you want in the drop down. Select your volunteer form and it will appear on the page. Now all you have to do is hit the update or publish button at the top right and the form will be live on your website. Make sure you test the form to make sure it's working how you want and you should receive an email confirmation to the email address you've submitted. If you ever want to check all form submissions, then go to the WordPress dashboard and hover over WP Forms. You'll see an item for entries. Click on that. All the forms on your website are listed here. And if you click on any of them, you can see the submissions for that form. If you like this video and you want to find out more about how you can track how your forms are performing with Google Analytics, then check out this video. It's super helpful. Thanks for watching.